The Royal Academy of Engineering Rang is the UK's National Academy of Engineering. The Academy was founded in June 1976 as the Fellowship of Engineering with support from Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, who became the first senior fellow and, as of 2018, remains so. The Fellowship was incorporated and granted a Royal Charter on 17 May 1983 and became the Royal Academy of Engineering on 16 March 1992. It is governed according to the Charter and Associated Statutes and Regulations as amended from time to time. History Conceived in the late 1960s, during the Apollo space program and Harold Wilson's espousal of white heat of technology, the Fellowship of Engineering was born in the year of Concorde's first commercial flight, the Fellowship's first meeting, at Buckingham Palace on of June 1976, enrolled 126 of the UK's leading engineers. The first fellows included Air Commodore Sir Frank Whittle, the jet engine genius, the structural engineer Sir Ova Arup, radar pioneer Sir George McFarlane, the inventor of the bouncing bomb, Sir Barnes Wallace, father of the UK computer industry Sir Maurice Wilkes. The fellowship's first president, Lord Hinton, had driven the UK's supremacy in nuclear power. The fellowship focused on championing excellence in all fields of engineering. Activities began in earnest in the mid-1970s with the Distinction Lecture Series, now known as the Hinton Lectures. The Fellowship was asked to advise the Department of Industry for the first time and the Academy became host and presenter of the Macrobert Award. In the 1980s, the Fellowship received its own Royal Charter along with its first government grant in aid. At the same time it also received significant industrial funding, initiated its research program to build bridges between academia and industry and opened its doors to international and honorary fellows. In 1990, the Academy launched its first major initiative in education, Engineering Education Continuum, which evolved into the best program and shaped the future and tomorrow's engineers. The Academy's increasing level of influence, in policy, research and education, was recognized when it was granted a royal title and became the Royal Academy of Engineering in 1990. The logo The Academy's new and current logo is inspired by the Neolithic hand axe, human's first technological advance, which was taken to be a symbol appropriate to the Academy, supposedly representative of the ever-changing relationship between humanity and technology. The old logo is no longer in use but shown here for historical reasons. Prince Philip House The Academy's premises, 3–4 Carlton House Terrace, are in a Grade I listed building overlooking St. James's Park, designed by celebrated architect John Nash and owned by the Crown Estates. The Academy shares the terrace with two of its sister academies, the British Academy and the Royal Society as well as other institutes. The building was renamed Prince Philip House, in honour of the Senior Fellow, after renovation works were completed in 2012. Prince Philip House is also available for venue hire for meetings or events. <laughs> Presidents of the Royal Academy of Engineering The President of the Royal Academy of Engineering, the elected officer of the Academy, presides over meetings of the Council. The president is elected for a single term of not more than five years. <laughs> Fellows of the Royal Academy of Engineering The fellowship currently includes over 1,500 engineers from all sectors and disciplines of engineering. The Fellows, distinguished by the title Fellow of the Royal Academy of Engineering and the postnominal designation Freng, lead, guide and contribute to the Academy's work and provide expertise. Up to 60 engineers are elected each year by their peers. Honorary and international Fellows who have made exceptional contributions to engineering are also elected and are entitled to use respectively the designatory letters Hon Freng and Freng after their name. The criteria for election are stated in the Charter, Statutes, and Regulations document. The essential attributes of excellence in engineering include 
organization leaders, those with full responsibility on technical decisions, top engineers, academics, or researchers, whose work have resulted in new products, important processes or practices, top engineers, those who have made outstanding contributions to major projects, engineering department leaders, those who have demonstrated significant personal engineering achievements. The current president of the Academy is Professor Dame Anne Dowling Om, DBE, Freng, FRS, the first woman to hold the office. The immediate past president is Sir John Parker GBE Freng. The Royal Fellows of the Academy comprise Prince Philip, Prince Edward, Duke of Kent, and Anne, Princess Royal. Topic activities The Academy is instrumental in two policy alliances set up in 2009 to provide coherent advice on engineering education and policy across the profession, Education for Engineering and Engineering the Future. The Academy is one of four agencies that receives funding from the UK's Department for Business Innovation and Skills for activities that support government policy on public understanding of science and engineering. As part of its programme to communicate the benefits and value of engineering to society, the Academy publishes a quarterly magazine, Ingenia. 4. The Academy says that Ingenia is written for a non-specialist audience and is aimed at all those with an interest in engineering, whether working in business and industry, government, academia or the financial community. The Academy also makes Ingenia available to A-level students in 3,000 schools in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> Diversity The Academy strives to ensure that the pool of candidates for election to the fellowship better reflects the diverse makeup of society as a whole. It set up the Proactive Membership Committee in 2008 to identify and support the nomination of candidates from underrepresented areas, with the aim of boosting the number of women candidates, engineers from industry and small and medium enterprises, those from emerging technologies and ethnically diverse backgrounds. Awards and prizes With the support of the Worshipful Company of Engineers, the Academy manages the annual Royal Academy of Engineering Macrobert Award, the premier prize for UK innovation in engineering. First presented in 1969, the award honours the winning company with a gold medal and the team members with a prize of £50,000. The Academy oversees the awarding of the Queen Elizabeth Prize, for engineering. The CA Prize is an international, £1 million engineering prize that "...rewards and celebrates the engineers responsible for a groundbreaking innovation that has been of global benefit to humanity." The objective of the prize is to "...raise the public profile of engineering and to inspire young people to become engineers." The Academy's Sir George MacFarlane Medal is an annual award that recognizes a UK engineer who has demonstrated excellence in the early stage of their career. The President's Medal Chair in Emerging Technologies, a scheme providing long-term support to visionary researchers in developing technologies with high potential to deliver economic and social benefit to the United Kingdom. See also Engineering Development Trust Engineering Glossary of Engineering <laughs>